welcome back to my channel it's your boy b to the k to the d and the nas aka read ad in the building then we bust up the place right now all right today i have a topic that you are looking for that is what i am going to talk about but before that topic relationship is one of the most amazing thing one can ever have on earth it's one of the most beautiful things God created. It's one of the most interesting things that I don't know how to even explain it. You know, God in his own unique way created man and woman to be together. That is why he brought up the rib of a man to create a woman. And one thing you have to understand is that relationship can be private, right? But it shouldn't be a secret. So, let me just give you the topic here. The topic is, how do I know this person loves me? How do I know he or she is into me or she loves me? Right. This is really one question that people normally ask. That, how do I know that she loves me? Well, if you are in that category... This is what you should know. One, number one, the person is so, 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 so much into you. They are really, really into you. When we say somebody is into you, like kind of they are your number one fan. They are happy when they see you. They are like, I don't know how to explain it, but kind of you wanting something for so long. And you finally achieve them. You see, you become like a tigress or a tiger, protecting, you know, your 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 valuable thing, you know, that you don't want anyone to take away from you. You hold it with everything. And that brings me to one other word, which is the person is so much proud of you. They are proud. They are interested in everything that you do. They ask you like what you do on a daily basis. You're in and out. They check up on you every single moment that they get a free time. Every single moment that they get a free time, they check up on you. These are some of the signs. And... Somebody would just say, um, our relationship should be not known to somebody. Like, they don't want your, your relationship to be known to so many people. My dear, relationship is not, I don't know, it's not an inner cloth that you wear that you don't want anyone to see. No. It's not an underwear. It's like a jacket. You have to wear it for everybody to see. Relationship is not private. Can you be private to the extent that you even give birth and nobody knows? Can you be private to the extent that you get married and nobody knows? Can, can you be so private that you don't want anyone or any of the guy or the lady's family knowing that you are even in a relationship? My brother, my sister, if nobody in the guy or the lady's family knows that you are dating him or her trust me you are more than single you know you know if there is a word that comes before single i think you are that one you are more than single honestly speaking because no one can be private to the extent that their mom don't know that they are dating you their sisters don't know their boy their best friends don't know um, their pastor don't know about it. Like, one thing I can say, you can be private. Yeah, I understand you. You don't want anyone entering into your affair or talking about your relationship. We got it. But the thing here is, no, not everyone can be your hater. You have your pastor. Is your pastor your hater? Is he, is he your enemy? No. Your mom, your dad. Your sisters, your siblings, okay, it could be. But there are most, like kind of some most important people around you in your life that they have to definitely know that you are in a relationship. 
You cannot hide somebody to the extent that nobody knows about. And the only people that knows about are all those, the junk friends that calls you, oh, our wife, my dear, you are not the one. If their family member don't know you, if you're not welcome to the family, my dear, you are still single. If you haven't spoken to his parents, or if you haven't talking to his brothers, my dear, you are still single. Seriously. So the person is one proud of you. They appreciate you being in their life. They care about you. They are so vulnerable to you. They are open to you. And like you don't ask them, you don't beg them before they do something for you. They automatically do it. When you love somebody, you don't wait. You do it with passion. You do it with love, with emotions and feelings attached. You don't care what they do wrong. All you see is the right things that they do. And when you complain about their faults, do you help them build it? Help them build. Because everybody have that weak side in their life. Are you in their life to help them build on it? Are you in their life to help them grow up on their weakness? Build on their weakness and they will appreciate you. And don't be pointing fingers around and then always making excuses for your own personal gain or reasons. So somebody who loves you always gonna be there for you they always care about you they are proud that is the other point they are proud to show you everywhere when they go to public when they go wherever they go they will show you around there was this girl and then she was like telling me yeah my partner don't want anyone to know that we are dating because he is a public figure He's a musician. He don't want other people to know. And all those are my, my dear. Do you know her, his family? And she said no. Have you spoken to any of his brothers, sisters? No. But I know his friends that he hang out with. My dear. The friends that he hang out with, they all know you are not the one. They only call you when they need something. When there is time to chop food, when there is time to chop akara and a goosey soup, that's when they come to you. When there is time to chop puff puff and jollof rice and awache, that is when they call you to cook for them. Those friends, they all know you are not the one. I'm telling you the truth. And in case you are also um, in a relationship and then the person is in the person is here in Europe, or you both are here in Europe and then. You kind of you don't have access to maybe their room. You don't have access to some private stuff about them. My dear, you gotta be careful because no one can be that private to the extent that you don't even know their schedule of the day or the week or what they do. And if also your partner, whether it be it's a lady or a male, kind of hiding you and don't want other people to know they are in love with you. I don't get that one as well. It makes it feels like the person is hiding you. I am not an object to hide me. Are you shy introducing me as your partner? That's the question that comes up. Are you shy introducing me as your partner? Or why can't you introduce me to your friends? Your female friends, your family, your siblings. What is keeping you from not introducing me? You got to understand it. So if somebody is proud of you, they love you, they're emotionally and physically attracted and attached to you, they will introduce you, they will not hide you. The important people in her life or his life will know about you. And that is the main thing. They go out with you. We know that there are some people who can do all this without loving you. But when you check how much proud they are having you and not just wanting something from you, but also giving, you know, they said there is much love in giving than receiving. So make sure the person also do what? Give in and out. 
you know, oh, this person is proud of me. They love me. They cherish. They appreciate. They introduce me. They take me to wherever I want them to take me to. This is one of the most amazing things. Trust me, being in love. Yeah, also one thing I will add to, a tips, that somebody who knows how to talk, not just opening your mouth and saying anything, no, but somebody who knows how to talk in public, they know how to talk to you. They understand your feelings and they talk to you in a way that you can understand. They have the patience to explain things to you, even if you don't understand. They don't just get carried away up or upset just with any single mistake that you do in, in their life. You know, all these things are some qualities that you have to check and build upon and make the relationship amazing and beautiful and interesting. So make sure that you see all these signs before you give all your heart to this person. And if this person is hiding you and not introducing you to the people you, he needs to introduce you to, and if they can't accept that you are introducing them to your family, this is one thing, you introducing them to your family, they don't want. They don't want you to introduce them to your pastor. They don't want you to introduce them to your friends. Because they have somebody out there and they're afraid. They cannot post you, oh God. This is one also the most important thing. They cannot post you. They're hiding you. They're afraid. I don't want anybody to see. I don't want anybody to see. Why don't you want anybody to see? Is it a spiritual problem? Because maybe some people are there monitoring you. Okay, we can understand that. And then we can talk together and build something important and effective on that. But at least... You can introduce the person to your parents and also your pastor and the most important people in your life and they can as well introduce you to their um, important people in their life and also their pastors and everything. So if the person cannot do this for you or they will not allow you to do this to them, then, my dear, you're still single. Keep searching. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. It's been a pleasure. I really admire, I really appreciate, I really love that you have taken your time to watch this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click that red button and then subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you will receive every single video we post every week. And also make sure that you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend that we are in the building and we bust up the place. In case you have an idea also, you know, about this whole topic, my dear, you can leave your comment in the comment section down below. Share your opinions. Love you. See you same time next week. Peace out.